So today we're going to be checking out this, the Kurtz Cologne. Uh, smells like chorus pedal by Past Effects. Mm. Um, yeah, that's what we're going to check out. My name is Gabor. Good stuff. Welcome along. We're going to check out this today. Please hit like and subscribe on the channel first up. Help us out. Ding the bell and leave us a comment. Thumbs Please up, do. all that stuff. Please do. And awesome. this Thank you very much. was provided by Verly and Past mm. Effects. So this is what we would call a sponsored video. Mm. So put your tinfoil, tinfoil hats on, uh, you know, because uh, this is sponsored. So it's, uh, yeah. Corrupt. Um, corrupt. Totally yeah. corrupt. Uh, now just use your ears and stop whinging. So the Kurtz Cologne, Alex. It's a bunch of different choruses. Yeah. Uh, well, it's, it's. I say bunch. Different versions of one chorus. Three. Yeah. Well, three's a bunch. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so basically, uh, Kurt Cobain used to use the small clone amongst mm. other choruses, but that was one of the ones he used, the EHX small clone. Um, EHX, quite well known for using whatever components they have lying around at the time and, and you know, different eras of different pedals sounding rather drastically different. Uh, this has got a three-way switch where you've got the more 80s style, which I think, oh, sorry, 70s style, which I think originally had a Redicon chip in it, which is like now ridiculously expensive. Uh, then an MN3007 chip uh, in the 80s and then whatever it was in the 90s. So three different types of chipsets that give you three different sounds of Bucket Brigade awesomeness with chorus. Mm, um, <laughs> now, uh, also, the original small clone yep. just had a speed knob. Mm. And uh, a depth switch where it was low and high depth. This has got an eight-way uh, switch. So you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight switches. Eight switches positions um, with different depth options. Now, position eight is the same as the up, or the, the high, the deepest one. high depth. Yeah. And position three, which is the one facing that way, is the same as the down. But there's extra ones in there too. Um, They've also added a mix control, which wasn't on the original one, and a level control, so it can boost the uh, output a little bit. Often with choruses, it can kind of drop the volume a little bit. Uh, there's also a phase switch for the second output. Uh, so the way Verley mentioned it to me was that sometimes different amplifiers and stuff like that, the phase switch may react differently to different... Um, um, amps. We'll, we'll, we'll check that sort of stuff out. And then they've also added um, a low and high cut switch, which just gets rid of the really highs and highs and really low lows. And they've added the second output because the original one wasn't stereo, it was mono. Stuff. And we will also do some mono later, so check the timestamps because I think most people would use mono. But because it's quite a pretty stereo sound, I thought let's check it out in, check it out. in stereo check first. Check I guess the setup, so you know what you're hearing, is just through two UAD amp sims, clean um, plexi things. It sounds like this. And you can check our video on the Sire S7 up here. Yeah. All right, should check we check uh, what Teen Spirit smells like? Sure. So with the uh, uh, rate on 12 o'clock, mix at 12 o'clock, the level roughly, it's the same as the, the bypass signal. And let's go on the down, what would be the down position on the depth switch. Uh, those two are switched off, phase is switched off. Uh, that light goes on, let's hear it.
but almost a face switch almost made it go on a s slower rate from a chorus sound to a flangery sound. Sure. That almost had that sort of, it, it's a bit sort of hollow, I guess, because of the phase. Yeah. But it gives you that hollowness of a, of a phaser, of a flanger. Um, but yeah, it just went through the different depth settings and stuff. It's quite a pretty stereo effect as well. From, yeah, it can't get it wrong, can you? Nah, no, no, no. Can't break it. Um, so let's try, let's find a sound. So do you want a more vibrato y kind of sound, the faster thing, or Leslie, or do you want the more kind of slower kind of chorusy sound? You surprise me. <laughs> Alrighty then. Okay, well, let's go. What, maybe what happens? Lower depth, turn the rate up a bit. Which one do, do you prefer, the the blue phase or the red phase lights? The, so that that now. I think I like it in phase. In phase. Which is a bit of the red. Okay, so let's let's just say that's sort of a Leslie esque sure. kind of slightly faster sound. Let's check out the three different um, generations: seventies, eighties, nineties. So we're on seventies at the moment, which is in the middle. Well, to me, the 80s up seems to be the the strongest. Like it has the like you hear the, the the most effect sounds. Yeah. 70s is probably the most subtle. Is that the middle? The middle, yeah. And then down is sort of in between there somewhere. I like the down setting actually. Yeah, because up uh, it, it, again, I think this is if in 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 order of subtleness. It starts with this. That's the most subtle. I personally like up. That's the one probably I like the best out of that. Maybe the middle one actually. The seventies one. Yeah. Okay. Now should we check? Well, actually, let's let's go to a, a high, let's go to a really extreme setting so we can check out the low cut and high cut. Sure. subtle but it does get rid of that low end rumble yep um so that's sort of subtle but it just gives you a little bit different kind of for sure yeah eq kind of things mm. should we not check out because we've been on a high uh, rate should we check out a lower rate so something slower and go between the three different um eras <laughs>
Right on. Do you want me to play? Sure. Um, have, all a, right. have a hit. I'm going to use, just because it's a Kurt Cobain thing, I'm going to use my Moserite, uh, the Ventures model, in um, D standard tuning. Because why not? Uh, and un uh, yep. cologne it sounds like this. It's rather picked the right way around. It's got a bit more grunt, this guitar. It's quite high output pickups. Keys, so they can't copyright. This is true. Cause... Oh, that's a nice stereo image. I was actually tuned down to C as well. To D, down the tone. <coughs> but I was playing chords, not single notes. So. <laughs> We have a lovely stereo image, go mono, <laughs> sure, <laughs> into an amplifier, and maybe plug some drive in the front because I, I think most people would use mono. Coco Bain yep. used it in mono, the yep. original pedal was mono. Let's check it out in mono, and we're back, and we're mono, one cable instead of two. Glorious, glorious mono. So make sure to use yeah. your phones instead of headphones. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I just thought most people will use it in mono, so... Exactly, yeah. Uh, so, Alex, do tell us about the current setup that we're having, that we're going through amplifier-wise and stuff like that. Alex, would you please be so kind? Thank you. <laughs> Get out of the house much. So, it's a Moztrux Amp Switcher, Cherry Tone OTS Mini 20, and a two-nose torpedo capped X. All the sounds you're hearing. Reverb in there, too. A little bit of reverb. That's uh, what you're hearing. Okay, so same uh, Mozart guitar, uh, same sound. Uh, this is what it sounds like into the amplifier. <laughs> sort of flangery thing going. When that rates down, it gets a bit swampy. Can we just very quickly try, just for shits and giggles, uh, and then do a little pop, but that's okay. What does it sound like if we go into the other one? Just for shits and giggles.
It sounds a little different, doesn't it? Yeah. When you flick the face switch, that one goes out of phase. Yeah. So you know, if we go back to that. Try that. Very now, the other thing we've got now is this. <laughs> Happy little fella. That, 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 let's just put him. It does look like a moth, I reckon. Put him there. Upside down moth, yeah. Um, no, this is Yetus Cabanus. So, the only reason why I brought this pedal is because it has a sort of a Cocobane thing going on it. Um, this is the RNR MF um, uh, yep. Bigfoot Drive. There's a video for it up here. And this is actually, I think, is a quite a limited drive still available at Pop Culture in Australia, uh, at the store Pop Culture. I put a link to it below. Um, it's a, just a drive. So let's try that drive. This is what the drive sounds like. Let's, let's cologne it. Especially with distortion, Nirvana, there's lots of the faster chorus. It's two Nirvana songs played in, at the same time. Wow. That's <laughs> heaven. Hey, hey, Nirvana, hey, hey, do you want to have a go? Sure. Mono as well. It, it, it does kind of widen the sound. I mean, that's what a chorus does, I guess, but it kind of does widen the sound a bit. But I like that it has that, um, it has a very flangery vibe to it as well. Mm. I don't know if I've ever used a small clone, the actual small clone. Oh, yeah. I've had a, it used to have a small stone. Yep. 
But I don't oh. think I don't know if I've ever had an old small clone. Did I ever used to have a small clone? I don't remember it. Mm. I ha- do you have a soft spot for EHX style modulation? With, I've got the old worm up there. Which is ah. a bit of a bit of a sleeper. Mm. Um, yeah. So yeah, I I diggy. Let us know what your thoughts are uh, on Kurt's Cologne, or do you have one of the old uh, electroharmonic small clones, either from the 70s, 80s, or 90s, or more recent one in a smaller enclosure? Mm. Uh, Neo? Is it Neo Clone? Yeah, about the size, hey, like the little yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. hand ca- yeah, casing. Yeah, cool. Let us know. Um, uh-huh. Big thank you once again to Verley at Past Effects for sending this out to us. Uh, check out uh, R&R MF as well. I, like I said, I put links down to This is a limited sort of thing, the Bigfoot Drive. Yeah. With the Cobain, Yetus Cabanus, I think it's called on there. Which is Latin for yeah. hairy guy sleeping in the woods in his car. Yes. Hey, um, there's links below the socials Please and podcast. Check him out if you've got a second. Please do. Thanks for hanging. Uh, and I'm going to put up a playlist of all the past effect stuff here. And you should click on it now and watch it all. Bye. Oh, yeah.